When you want to learn databases and SQL, what you need is a sample database. A sample database usually consists of multiple databases, schemas, tables, data in tables, and other supporting database objects, such as views, indexes, stored procedures, and functions. If you're starting off with SQL Server, the first choice for a sample database is AdventureWorks. AdventureWorks database is a sample database created by Microsoft, which can be stored in a SQL Server database. I have been using AdventureWorks database for many years now, and I've found it incredibly useful for learning not just SQL, but to use it while learning other tools like Tableau. AdventureWorks is the name of a fictional organization selling adventure gear such as mountain bikes, bike chains, and other accessories. The AdventureWorks database comes in two versions. One database is the OLTP version of the organization. This database has tables that store the data for the transactional applications of the organization. The other database that has the word DW in it is the data warehouse version. This database has tables that can be used to perform OLAP operations. So this database consists of dimensions and fact tables. Hi, I'm Bindu Kumar from Data Academy. In this video, we are going to set up the AdventureWorks sample database on SQL Server 2014 Express. First, let's download the AdventureWorks database. So to do that, let me open Google Chrome and I'll search for AdventureWorks 2014. I'm being very specific about the version because 2014 is the SQL Server version that I have. So I want to make sure I download AdventureWorks that is compatible with it. Once I hit enter, there'll be a couple of links, but uh, let me click on the second link from the CodePlex website. Now, ever since Microsoft bought over GitHub, they have moved most of the sample databases to GitHub. So, which is where you see this another link that we need to go through. So, I'll click on this SQL Server samples on GitHub. You can see it has redirected me to the GitHub website. Now, you'll also find this link in the description of this video. So here there are plenty of files that can be downloaded. We'll have to look at the ones that end with 2014. So the first file I notice is this, adventureworks2014.bak. There is something else as well, uh, which is the very first file, adventureworks2014 OLTP in memory. We don't need this, right? We need the .back files. So let me click on this. The moment I click, the download begins. While that is happening, I'll look for another file. So if I scroll down a little further, you see AdventureWorks DW2014. Right, The one that we downloaded earlier did not have the word DW in it. So DW stands for Data Warehouse. So I'll download this as well. Now this may take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes based on the internet connection that you have. Okay, so it took around 10 minutes, but the download is finally complete. So here you can see in the downloads folder, both the dot back files are available. One for the data warehouse, the other for the OLTP. Now let's go ahead and restore this into the SQL Server database. So to do that, I will launch the SQL Server 2014 Management Studio. I have pinned it to the start menu. In case you do not find it, you can go to Programs, Microsoft SQL Server 2014, and then Management Studio.
I will log in via the SQL so authentication, but it really doesn't matter. You can use Windows authentication as well. Just click on connect. Now this shows me that the connection is successful and I can see the existing databases. Okay, so now we have to restore the dot back files. To do that, I will right click on the databases and the third option here is restore database. Click on that. Now, now either I can restore from a, another database or restore from a device. We have to select device. Click on this browse button. and the backup media is a file we will need to give the location of the file so now we know that the files are in the downloads folder so let me head over to the downloads folder i will copy this entire path and try pasting it here now the problem is SQL Server cannot access anything that's in the downloads folder because it is, does not have the permissions. So an easy way to fix this is to move the files. So I will cut the files from the download section, head over to the C folder or the C drive, create a new folder here. Call it AdventureWorks DBs. You can give it pretty much any name you want. Now pasted the dot .back files here. Head back to SQL Server. And the new folder that you created will not be visible unless you, you know, just perhaps collapse and expand it again. Now here I can see the file, right? So let's uh, select one file at a time. First, we will start with the AdventureWorks 2014.back. Click on OK. OK again. And it will take few seconds to check the dot .back file if it's a valid SQL Server file. And if it's successful, you get the backup sets populated. So here you can see the name, the type, the server. So server, you'll notice something like VCG S Kali. Uh, this is probably the name of the developer who created these databases and then uploaded it to GitHub. You'll also see a date when the restore or, or when the backup was created and the username again. So once this is all set, just click on OK. It should be fairly quick, less than 10-15 seconds. So the AdventureWorks 2014 is done. Let's repeat this process for the data warehouse as well. Head over to device, click on add, C drive AdventureWorks DBs. This time select the second file, click on OK and OK. and one final OK. All right. So now uh, coming back to the SQL Server Database Object Explorer, you can see the two additional databases available here. So let me expand uh, one at a time. The first is AdventureWorks 2014. I'm pretty familiar with this data model, so I know for sure that this is the uh, right database and uh, these are the right set of tables. Uh, just to be sure that it does have data, I'll, I'll run a query against one of these tables. So I'll type in select star from person dot person. So the person is the schema name and the table name is person and, you, and you'll find that here. Also, when you're running this query, make sure you have selected the right database, right? So uh, for example, if I were to 
select uh, let's say tempdb from here and if I run a query it will throw an error saying the object was not found but if I select AdventureX 2014 and execute this shows the data so this means the first database is all set up and working fine let's repeat this for the second database the AdventureWorks DW this if you expand you'll see a completely different set of tables these are the dimensions and facts because this database is, represents the data warehouse uh, for AdventureWorks again let me start a new query window we will type select star from dim customer and while I'm doing this I notice something I'm not getting the auto suggestion for this table right uh, I'll type the table name completely and then I notice that I haven't selected the right database okay so it still shows uh, red and there you go it, it disappeared now which means it is able to detect the table so click on execute wonderful so this is presenting data as well so if you come so far it means you have successfully restored the AdventureWorks database always make sure that when you load when you're downloading the AdventureWorks database from the github website you download the appropriate version um, you know I've seen uh, some issues where I have tried to restore the 2014 database on 2012 uh, SQL Server obviously it will not work it it is not compatible so just make sure the numbers match thank you